Hello, and welcome to Organ Miniatures, a weekly video series aimed at demystifying the pipe organ. I am your host, Rob Lubinsky. Let's begin. Last week, we learned all about the action on the organ that allows the pipes to sound. If you missed that video, you can find a link to it and others from this series in the description. This week, we're back in the chambers to talk about tuning and an all-too-common problem with the organ, ciphers. Almost every instrument needs to be tuned, and the organ is no exception. Organ pipes are made from wood and metal, and as the weather and temperature change throughout the years, these pipes can expand and contract, causing them to go in and out of tune. Now, ideally, organ chambers like this one are climate controlled, but that's not always the case. Nevertheless, pipes still tend to go out of tune. Now, most pipes hold their tuning fairly well, which means the organ typically only has to be tuned two to three times a year, similar to a piano. But, as you can see, there are a lot of pipes in here, and organs can have anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand pipes, which can make tuning the instrument an all-day project or more. Tuning is fairly simple. Flue pipes are tuned by adjusting their length. Metal pipes, like this one here, have a small cylinder at the top that slides up and down to adjust the length. As the slider is moved, the length of the pipe changes and thus the pitch changes. Allow me to demonstrate. Stopped pipes, like this one, are tuned by moving the stopper up and down. Here's what it sounds like. Reed pipes are tuned a little bit differently. Instead of changing the length of the pipe, we change the length of the reed. At the bottom of the pipe is a small metal rod that allows us to change the length of the reed inside. When we take the pipe apart, we can see the effect that this rod has. Here the reed is fairly long, and then as we push the rod in, it shortens the vibrating length of the reed. Reed pipes tend to go out of tune more often than other pipes, and unfortunately reed pipes are the ones that are a little bit harder to tune because they're much more temperamental. Now you can probably imagine that an instrument this size has its share of problems. Now, if the organ is well maintained and not subjected to drastic changes in temperature and climate, then for the most part it will function without a lot of problems. The problem that is most common to the organ is a cipher. Now, a cipher is where one pipe sounds without it being played on the organ. There are a variety of different reasons that this can happen. One of the most typical ones is a mechanical problem which just causes the pipe to get stuck open. This can usually be fixed by isolating that pipe down on the organ console and then playing it several times in quick succession to free the mechanism and allow the pipe to stop sounding. Another common cause of ciphers is when the leather lining the entryway into the pipe wears out, causing the airtight seal to be broken. When this happens, the leather has to be replaced, and unfortunately this can sometimes take an entire stop out of commission for months at a time. There are several other causes of ciphers, but an understanding of them is really not important to a general understanding of the organ, not to mention the fact that the explanations of how they happen and how they're fixed are overly complicated, and honestly, even I don't completely understand all of how it works. So that is everything you could possibly need to know about the organ, and probably a lot more besides. Next week will be a quiz. No, just kidding. Next week, we're going to pull everything together that we've learned over the last 11 weeks in a demonstration of what the organ can do. In the meantime, if you have any questions about anything you've seen today, please feel free to ask in the comments and I will do my best to answer each question. I'm also still taking suggestions about what you would like to see in future videos, so please let me know in the comments as well. See you next week!